Well, guys, it was a pretty big weekend of eBay sales. If you pull the numbers up, it was a total of 27 items that sold, $1,100 worth of revenue. You take out the fees, the post, and the cost of the goods. Guys, it was a $600 profit weekend, and I'm really excited about that. I'm going to show you every single one of the 27 items that sold in this video today, and I'm also going to show you a really cool video game haul that I was able to pull out of a pawn shop. We caught them sleeping. I had the camera on. I'm going to take you through all of that in this video today. So let's go and dive into the first category we always kick these videos off with the DVDs. We had an okay weekend in the media section, guys. DVDs, video games, a total of $150 worth of revenue. We had nine sales. It works out to an average sale price of $16.50. If we kick things off here with keeping up appearances, this one here is the complete series one to five. It was a viewer of the name of Hayden uh, that's gone ahead and bought these for 60 bucks. Very generous on my Instagram page, so no fees associated. Um, thank you very much for the support there, mate. They'll go out to you today. Onto a few eBay sales. I bought a big allotment of uh, items off a guy um, that has been following the channel recently, and I've been selling a few of his items. This was one of them, Pen Marek, um, brand new and sealed DVD here. Hadn't heard of it before, but $27.50 was the sale price, so definitely one to be looking out for. Uh, the complete series, one to two here of How to Get Away with Murder. That one there sold for $18 as a bit of a bundle. Uh, nothing too much to say about these three here. They all sold for about 10 bucks a piece. Uh, but we did have some really good results in the video games. We had Rocket League uh, PS4. That one there sold for $34.50. So make sure you look out for that one there, guys. That was a good one. And then this one as well, Reflex. We've got NX ATV. Uh, that one sold for 25 bucks, which for a video game, I think is some pretty good numbers. Uh, no surprises that this one here is sold with the uh, unfortunate passing of Taylor Hawkins. Foo Fighters Greatest Hits. Uh, that one sold for $14.50. So uh, rest in peace to the great man Taylor, but um, 150 bucks, nine items, an average sale price of $16.50. Now I've said over the last few weeks to kick off this year that I really want to place a focus around video games, video game consoles. I just think that's a really good category to be focusing on. Good average sale price, good sell through rate with that space. And there's a couple of consoles and, and accessories here that I wanted to have a quick chat about. Uh, that we've had sell over the weekend. The first one, you may have remembered me picking this up a couple of weeks ago in my biggest ever trip to the thrift video. Uh, this was a $10 purchase. It was a Logitech joystick, the Extreme 3D Pro. It's gone on sale in two weeks for $45. So a bit of bubble wrap, some butcher's paper, put it into a box. That one should be fine to go for about $10 worth of postage. So 10 into 45, I thought that was a pretty good number. Um, then I've also got this one as well. I bought this off Facebook Marketplace. Um, it was an Xbox 360 E console, 250 gigabytes worth of storage, so quite a large device. Uh, and I knew that I'd get a few more dollars for it when I saw that it was 250 gig. So look, just the cable and the uh, wireless controller, nothing fancy about this, no games. Uh, but we've been able to sell it for $110, which I thought was fantastic, considering I was able to get my hands on it for 20 bucks off Facebook Marketplace. So again, very similar, a, a bubble wrap uh, butcher's paper, put it into a box. That one should go for about $15 to $20 worth of postage domestically around Australia. Um, so yeah, some great profits in that category. And I think if you guys are looking for categories to focus on on eBay, video games and video game consoles is a good one. Normally I'll take you through my shoes outside, but we've got a lot of rain at the moment. So I've just brought them in here for you guys to have a look at. You're looking at $418 worth of revenue. Works out to an average sale price of $46 for the nine sales that we're able to get over the weekend. Uh, how good are these? Peter Alexander Vegemite slippers bought in a flea market for $5. I got a $34.95 sale price on these ones. Took about three weeks to sell. That was just a really cool find at a very cheap price. Now these ones here, I bought these a long time ago, guys, and I would not be buying these shoes again. Just a very entry level shoe, no padding in the sole. Um, the Assert 6 Under Armour running shoes. I have sold a lot of Under Armour but uh, I wouldn't buy these again. I sold them for $35 just to get them out the door. Um, good to see them go. These as well, look, Reebok, I don't sell a lot of Reebok running shoes. I don't, yeah, I don't source a lot of Reebok running shoes either, to be honest. A very similar situation, just wanted to clear these out, uh, but we did get a $40 sale price, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, these as well, I probably wouldn't be rushing to buy these unless I saw them for sort of five to $10 in the thrift, but uh, I didn't even give them a proper clean there. Look at that. Uh, $40 was the sale price we had on these Adidas casual shoes. Um, so look, again, not too bad for a pretty entry level shoe. Um, these ones are an awesome shoe. There it is there, the Nike Pegasus 37. I talk about these shoes quite a bit. These were just a six youth, uh, but we're able to get a $45 sale price very fast on these shoes. So definitely one for you guys to be looking out for. Uh, this one here as well, awesome pair of Adidas casual shoes, big guy, US size 12. 
Uh, we managed to get this one done for $47 on a best offer, which for a pair of Adidas casual shoes, I think that's a really good price. Uh, would have only paid about 10 bucks to get my hands on those. Uh, and then we've got some more, I guess, high-end, bigger winners. The shoes that I'm sort of starting to source uh, a whole lot more nowadays. We've got the Charged Europa Under Armour. Now, these are a much better shoe and they're in much better condition as well than the Assert 6s I was telling you about before. Uh, these ones here have sold for $55, but I, I really do think given the condition, I might've been able to get a few more bucks for them. So um, yeah, somebody's got a really good deal there with that one. Uh, we've got these as well, the Metcons, almost my favorite shoe to sell these days. Uh, the Nike Metcons, uh, not too bad a condition, uh, we're able to get a $60 sale price, uh, Metcon 2s. So more of an earlier model with the Metcon range. Uh, and then these ones I didn't buy too long ago, guys. You might've remembered me uh, picking these up in a trip to the thrift. These are the Adidas Predator 19.2s and uh, we got a $60 sale price on these ones here. So the footy boots are just continuing to sell for me really well. So guys, nine sales, $418 worth of revenue, an average price of 46 bucks. We've had a pretty decent weekend in the clothing section as well, guys. A total of six items have sold, $238 worth of revenue, and that works out to an average sale price of about $40, which for clothing, I think is excellent. The first sale that I've got for you here is this Michigan fitted seven and a quarter fitted hat. Now, I like the look of this one in the thrift. $4 was the purchase price. I tried to list it up for 30 bucks and then send a best offer for $28, but I got it wrong. And unfortunately, I sent off a best offer for 18 and the buyer quickly accepted. So I've got an absolute steal with that one there. Really cool find. Uh, these ones as well. These are a pair of jean shorts. Dickies is the brand. I don't find a lot of Dickies myself in the thrift, but it goes on to sell well if you can find it. Now, these are a pair of 42 waist and uh, we got a $35 sale price on those ones there. The jean shorts of any brand always goes on to do well. Um, this one here, I really like the look at this in the thrift. It's actually Columbia. If you guys are doing clothing, you'll know very well about Columbia being a great brand. Uh, this one was a size medium. It was an Omni Heat. Um, so I think it's a, just a good material uh, in great condition. We got a $35 sale price on that one there. So I'll always pick up Columbia uh, when I see it in any form of clothing. Uh, now this one here, have a look at this. You might be able to see that okay. It's a Korea Japan 2002 FIFA World Cup jacket. I found this in a flea market. It was actually Jalen, a good mate of mine that found it in the flea and he passed on it. He said, Matt, go ahead and take it. Uh, so I did. I think I paid $15 for it about a month and a half ago and put a $75 sale price on this FIFA World Cup jacket. So that was an absolutely ripping grab out of a flea market, which is always a really good hunting ground to find great items. This one here, guys, we've got a super dry long sleeve red check uh, men's shirt. Now this is actually 3XL. When you're buying super dry, I think the larger sizes do better. Uh, we bought this on Thursday, so it's had a pretty quick turnaround. $32.50 was the sale price on this one here. A really good brand uh, and just, a, I like the look of it, so I bought it. Um, this one here as well, we've got a Fiji Rugby uh, World Cup 2017 jersey. Now, this one sold for $45. I only paid 10 in the thrift for it a few months back. Turn it into 45, I think that's a great turnaround. Jerseys, guys, need I say more? I buy so many and I sell so many because it's a great item to sell on eBay. Well guys, really nice to get the post out of the way on a Monday morning. Always a really good feeling when I go and drop it off, but uh, it is an absolutely miserable day out here. It is, it is dark. Um, but look, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep pushing on. I'm gonna go around to a few op shops now. We're gonna do some thrifting. So hopefully that makes for a really entertaining part of the video and we can find some awesome stuff. I could show you what it might go on to sell for on eBay. And uh, fingers crossed I can buy a few things because that's what it's all about. So let's jump into, uh, there's actually a really good area where there's a couple of different op shops and then there's also a really nice pawn shop that has some good items. So uh, let's go check all those out now and fingers crossed we can buy a bag.
I've got a Bolway shoe brand for you guys to check out here, Oliver. I believe that it's an Australian made shoe company, uh, $50. These were in light new condition, but have a look at the comps. We're talking anywhere between 80 to 100, but I ended up passing on that price. This I was never gonna pass on though, guys. If you can find the Asics Onisuka Tigers, these are a great pair of shoes, $6. I could not believe the price on those. Uh, should be able to get 60 bucks. And there was a second pair as well for just the $5. So about $100 worth of shoes there for just the $11, which was just brilliant. Uh, I've got these as well. The Sense Boost Goes, the Winters. Uh, these are the water repellent version as well. That's my comp there for 60 bucks. So not too bad. Okay guys, let's do some video game hunting. I've gone through most of these games that you're seeing here in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, 29 bucks. I thought there might have been some value, but it only goes for 40, so I did have to leave that one behind. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition for nine bucks. Well, that one turns into about 25, so I'm happy to go ahead and make the purchase. Uh, Dead Space, the PlayStation 3. Guys, this one's only $2. The disc is in great condition, and it sells for 25, so I'm gonna do that every single day of the week. Mario Party 9, now I have paid up for this at $39, but look at that, the comps on eBay, we're talking about 70 bucks, so I've gone ahead and made the purchase with that one. Uh, Twisted Metal, haven't seen this game before, bought it for $5, it sells for about 20, so I thought that was pretty good. And then Mortal Kombat Complete Edition on the PlayStation 3, $5 turns into about 20 bucks yet again. This game though, this one's a good one, $5, Dying Light, I bought it for five, I'm selling it for about 30 bucks on eBay. So guys, a really good little number there of video games pulled off the shelf, but all the value lies in the glass casing. And I've had a look through all of these games and there were a couple that I really wanted to have a look at. And I had to go and ask the guy to open this up to get us in there so we could really sift through to see what value actually lies on eBay. That PlayStation 1 console, the Nintendo 64 console, it did catch my eye, but there were a couple of games that I was really interested in. Oh, look, we've got such a collection going here. It's a nightmare. You actually, so merchandise. Much stuff. We've got an N64 as well. I saw that. Did um, I? Oh, it obviously just came in. I did, yeah. I'm just going to. $49 for that one. $49. And it's in pretty good nick. Yeah, it does look like it's in good nick. I'm a bit nick. of a person, so. Oh, yeah? Although, personally, I tend to stick to more of first party. I don't really like the console Pokemon games. I'm more just about the portables. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got and a box you, copy of Bob, yeah, though. Yeah, that's pretty unreal. The box is in fairly decent nick. Yeah, just a couple of, just a couple of uh, nicks and nicks and dogs. Nicks there, and the ends. But nothing too bad. Nothing too bad. It's been very, yeah, very well cared for. Mmm. Even though it's original Kmart, uh, first tag on Would it have manuals and everything? in there do you think? I couldn't tell you because honestly it'd be, a, it'd be a crime to open this of but course. I can go scan it and see if it does have the manual. Oh you can work that out can you? If, if, if it does it'll be in the files. Okay yeah keep having a think I'll let you scan that. No worries mate. Um, I'll keep having a look. Oh I'll, I'll put, put that in there. Thank yeah. you mate. And we've picked up another one. Yeah. Oh, yeah I was tempted to take another one. Yeah I'll 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 take another one. Yeah in the end, he asked if I wanted to go ahead with the Golden Eye, and as you can see, I have made the purchase. He gave me some discount, and I ended up picking up that game for $80. So, pretty cool gaming haul. I always find it really tricky when you're in the pawn shops, because often the best games are behind the case, and you don't really have too much time when they open it up to give you a look inside to really spend too much time doing any comp research. And they're always going to be a slightly elevated price point, like this Pokemon game that we've been able to snaffle. Um, it's $49, so I've had to pay the 49 bucks for it, but I saw on eBay that that was going for $130. There were a couple of recent sold comps, as you would have already seen. So it really does pay to sift through the video game sections of your pawn shops because there is some great money to be made. And I ended up getting this one, the GoldenEye 007. That is going to turn into hopefully about $150. I did pay the 80 bucks for it. There is a little bit of damage on the case, but it does have the box. The box is the biggest aspect to this purchase and the reason why I spent so much money on a video game, actually the most I've ever spent on a video game, but hopefully there's going to be some really good profit in that one. And then all of these, a perfect example is this one, Mario Party 9. There's often video games that spike in value and I've been able to capitalize with this one here. This is $39 in store and I'm going to be able to sell it for about 60 to 65 bucks. So some real opportunity with the video games, guys. We've absolutely come through with the goods today. 
So that ended up being a pretty expensive afternoon. We spent $225 and I bought 11 items. So we definitely paid up today. And if I reflect back to when I first started reselling, I would never have paid $50 for a video game. That would just have not happened because I would have been unsure about the process of reselling it to get my profit. I wouldn't have known how long it takes and I wouldn't have known even if it was a good item to be selling. But because I've been doing this now for quite a long time, I have the confidence to start spending more money on items. And I think that's a real key for just honing in on a few different niche categories. Like I'm happy to spend that sort of money on shoes because I know my shoes really well and I know the expectation of how quickly I'm gonna get that money back based on what the item is. These games that I've bought right here, I'm pretty confident they're gonna turn around fast. So it's all just trial and error. Start small, spend small amounts of money on items, $5, $10, but over time, you will start to get yourself into a place where you can spend more money. Let me know in the comments below if you thought that was a pretty good purchase from today. I think they're all gonna go on to do pretty well. And I am looking forward to getting into my video games even more over the next few months. If you missed my absolute best pawn shop grab of all time, I'm gonna link it up for you right here to go and check out. I appreciate all of your support. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video today. A lot of sales, a lot of purchases. Make sure you like the video. Go check out that one there. We'll see you on Thursday.